So uh, quick show of hands, how many of you guys have ever read this book? Traction by Dina Wickman. Oh, good. Quite a number. Ooh, and uh, what the heck is EOS out here as well? I love it. All right, so uh, quite a number of you guys are pretty familiar. Um, so when I talk with a group, I really have two goals for us today. Number one is to simplify the way you think about and run your organization. And then secondly, is just to help you get what you want from your business. We at EOS, we are um, obsessed with helping entrepreneurs get exactly what they want from their organizations. You realize a lot of you here are entrepreneurs running an organization or you may be supporting and working with entrepreneurs running your, their organizations. And so this will be uh, hopefully relevant for all of you here. So what I'm gonna talk to you about today was created by a guy named Gina Whitman. So Gino uh, was a serial entrepreneur. He's one of the founding 10 members of the Entrepreneurs Organization in Detroit. And when he was running his organization, working with other entrepreneurs, starting to develop EOS, he found that there was two very distinct types of entrepreneurs. So the first type were happy. They were getting everything that they wanted from their organizations, felt very fulfilled, making plenty of money. And this other group was frustrated. And they were frustrated around five different areas. The first is control. They had grown their organizations to a size that they no longer felt like they could put their arms around the entire organization, right? The organization was running them rather than them running the business. Secondly, profit. There just wasn't enough at the end of the day for all the time, blood, sweat, tears they had poured into the organization. There wasn't enough left at the end of the day. The third was their people. For all their employees, their partners, their vendors, their customers, just was friction, right? And they were having a lot of challenges with people. The fourth was that they felt like they had hit a ceiling. They had gotten to here and they just couldn't figure out how to get to the next level. And then finally, they were reading all the books, they were going to lots of seminars, and nothing had worked. Nothing had worked. And so, some of you, again, in the, or in, the, in the audience here, you're living this. I know in my organization, in my former company, I lived every one of these five frustrations. So a little bit of quick uh, backstory for me. So currently live in St. Petersburg. I'm married. I have two young daughters. Uh, grew up in countryside, not so far from here. Uh, ready for graduate from college, I moved, moved home and I started a home health care agency, providing home health aides and CNAs to seniors, throughout the Tampa area. And it was about 250 employees when I sold that business. First decade went pretty well for me. In 2011, was named Up and Comer of the Year, under 30. That's me and Derek Brooks, hard to see up there. 2012 and 2013, we named Fast, the, uh, to the Fast 50 list for the 50 fastest growing companies. And then in 2013, the wheels fell off. I found that through my growth spurt, I'd hired all the wrong people. I didn't have systems and processes to keep up with my growth, and I had become the bottleneck in my business. And I was frustrated. At the time I was president of the entrepreneurs organization here in Tampa, and EOS Worldwide said every president around the country had a book called Get a Grip, which is a fictional story about a company that implements EOS. And we were doing Book of the Month Club in my business, looking for something to help us break through that ceiling. And when we read the book, we thought they'd written the book about us. We're looking around the room, wondering where the cameras were. And so we just never stuck to any one system. And so we started to uh, implement that system in January of 2014. And that first year was really tough for me. I turned over two thirds of my internal team, but we got really clear about who we were and where we were going and how to execute upon that plan. Fast forward three years, we had doubled the organization, uh, start, you know, profit increased exponentially, started to have fun again in my business. But my wife and I knew we didn't want to be in home care forever. And so we sold it to a private equity firm. We were their platform acquisition to enter the home care market. They've since bought several other organizations, rolled them into my former business. After selling, transitioned to the leadership team, and I've been coaching EOS for the last three and a half years and worked with over 50 companies throughout the state of Florida. Okay. Um, so, mentioned to you that we want to just keep this simple. There's a discovery that Gino made. Um, and by the way, I forgot to start my timer, so if someone was like, give me a... Thank you, Chrissy. She is on perfect. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, so Gina Whitman made this discovery that all entrepreneurs, you're all dealing with 136 different issues at any given time. And to the extent that you can just simplify the way you think about it and run your business, all of those 136 different issues are just going to fall into place. So I'm going to just walk you through this discovery that Gino made. Best way to show you that is through this model. We call this the EOS model. 
So first component here is called the vision component. Uh, vision is where are we going, how are we gonna get there, what's our, our plan to achieve that vision. In order to build a great business, we have to have a great vision. Secondly, in order to accomplish that great vision, we have to have great people. And every organization defines great people differently, so to get to the heart of what's a truly great person for your unique organization. Our third component is called the data component. This is about using black and white information just to help us make better decisions. We're not relying on ego or intuition or emotion to make decisions. We're just relying on data to help us make better decisions. As we strengthen those first three components of vision, people, and data, you end up with what we call a transparent organization. There's problems, there's challenges, there's opportunities, and we solve those within, with what we call the issues component. So we really teach teams how to identify their issues and solve them head on. Our fifth component is called the process component. So that means that the most important things in the business are done the best and the right way every single time. And we just take a really entrepreneurial approach towards documenting and implementing processes. The final component is called the traction component. And it's the rhythms that we implement in the organization to increase discipline, accountability, and focus. The traction component is how we bring that vision down to the ground and go execute upon it. Now, we measure our clients' journeys through this progress to strengthen each of those six components on a subjective but scientific scale we call zero to 100% strong, 100% being the goal, but it's ultimately utopia. Our understanding of 100% continues to get pushed out. So if we can get everyone over 80% in each of those six components running the business becomes easy. Truth be told, most of you and most of your clients are operating somewhere between 20 and 40% strong in each of these just having some success in spite of yourselves, just harder than it needs to be, okay? So I uh, wanna just walk you through each of these six components in a little bit more depth. Again, this is just a very quick overview because we don't have time to go deeper here. So in our vision component, uh, there's two disciplines or tools in each one of these that I'll just, again, just high level quick overview of. So our vision component, the first discipline is called answering the eight questions. Now the eight questions are in this document that we call the Vision Traction Organizer, or VTO for short. The eight questions that are on here are what are your core values? This is designed to attract the right people and, and repel the wrong people from your organization. What's your core focus? The why and the what about your organization. 10 year target, five to 30 year vision for the organization, what's our number one big goal? Our marketing strategy, how are we going to achieve that big goal? Our three-year picture, what does this organization look like in three short years? And then the traction side of the document, what are the, what's our one-year plan? What are our quarterly rocks or 90-day business priorities? And then what are our issues? And so these eight questions is, we believe, everything you need to know about where an organization is going and how you're gonna get there. However, there's no particular magic to the eight questions. The magic, is in the alignment of the leadership team around the answers to the eight questions. So the leadership team has to be absolutely 1,000% on the same page about the answers to those eight questions. And once the leadership team is absolutely clear, we then need to make sure that everyone else in the organization shares that same vision. We call that shared by all. And we just recommend a quarterly, what we call state of the company address. So we get everyone in a room, we tell them where we've been, where we are, and where we're going. We just get everybody on the same page. We say it takes seven times to hear it the first time, just like Kelly was talking about with sales. Seven times to hear it the first time, and so don't expect hallelujah the first time you tell your teams. We're just gonna keep telling them and telling them and telling them. Ultimately, you're gonna get every single person in the organization knowing exactly where we're going, and they know exactly their part in helping us achieve that vision, and that is ideal, right? So EOS at its core is just a system for managing the energy in an organization, right? The human energy getting all rowed in the same direction. Our second component is called the people component. There's two disciplines to the people component. First is called the right people, and those are just people that share your core values, they live your culture. And the second is called right seats. And so we really uh, work with teams on taking a structure first, people second approach to their organizations, getting clear on what's the right structure, and then making sure that we have people that get it, they want it, and they have the capacity to do the jobs that you're asking them to do, right? And so 
Again, without going into too much depth there, that is what we call right people and right seats. That's what is a great person in your organization. Also, we'll be getting to 100% of the people in your organization that live your core values, they share your culture, they know exactly what's expected of them, and they're sitting in the right seat on your teams. We call it your accountability chart. Our third component is our data component. First is just it, having a great scorecard as a leadership team of five to 15 members, really simplifying down the data that you are looking at every single week, giving us a pulse in our business and the ability to predict the future. And the second discipline here is called measurables. And this is where every single person in the organization has one to three numbers that they are being held accountable for. And they know that they are contributing towards the overall organization helping us accomplish that vision. Right? So our data components helping us make better decisions. I mentioned as we strengthen those first three, we end up with this transparent organization. There's problems, challenges, opportunities become clear to us. We solve them in our issues component. The first discipline is called issues list. This is about creating a culture in your organization where you celebrate when people find things that aren't going just the way you want it to. And we encourage people to find issues and they know that it's gonna get on a list and they know that we're going to address it. So we don't put our head in the sand and hope things go away. We teach people how to address their issues quickly. Is that my time? Nope. Okay, cool. Um, and then secondly, we, we teach a process called IDS of how to solve those issues. It's identify, discuss, and solve. So we always wanna solve the root issue. We're not just solving symptoms. Uh, but that's called IDS, and it's a really great way. A lot of my clients have said, hey, we've been talking about these issues for years, but never really done anything about it. Once they learn how to do this well and identify the root issue, they started to solve those issues. Our fifth component is our process component. It's about making sure the most important things in the business are done the best in the right way every single time. We take an entrepreneurial approach of uh, what we call a 2080 approach. So we want to document the 20% just the major steps in every process to help us yield 80% of the result. What most organizations do is they try to document the 100% of their procedures, they end up with a 400 page procedure manual that goes on a shelf, that never to be seen again, right? And so this is a 20 to 30 page process manual, again, just making sure the most important steps in the business are the best, the right way every time. And then second discipline here is just called followed by all, and just a simple checklist of making sure that people are trained, we're measuring the steps in the process and we are measuring and managing our people to make sure they're following it the right way every time. Our final component here is our traction component. Again, those rhythms we implement to increase discipline, accountability, and focus. The first rhythm is the 90-day world of setting rocks. It's human nature. You can only stay focused for about every 90 days or for about 90 days at a time. And so that's why it's so critical that every 90 days you take a big step back from your business to get refocused and reset. By the way, my wife and I, we run our family on EOS, and so every 90 days, she and I will take a day reset to set new rocks for the quarter. We actually just did it yesterday. Uh, and then finally is running great meetings. And so everyone in the organization is involved in what we call a level 10 meeting. We call it a level 10 because we believe every meeting should be a 10, the most important, most effective time of your week. So we just teach teams how to have better meetings, how to get more done, but everyone in the organization is involved in a really great weekly meeting, okay? And so in a very quick nutshell, that is EOS. EOS is all about execution. I always warn people, be careful what you wish for because with EOS, you're gonna get it, right? <laughs> just, we just take all the simple stuff, but you know, um, all of this is timeless business principles. Been around for 100 years, gonna be around for another 1,000 years. We don't do flavor of the month at EOS. When I first found out about EOS, I said, this is everything I know and believe about business. And it's just put into one simple system. It was easy for my entire team to understand, grasp, and implement. So incredibly effective there. Um, there's five really foundational tools to EOS. If you can get these five tools implemented, that's about 80% of the battle. So you get these implemented throughout the entire organization. That's your VTO, getting your vision and traction organizer set up, understood by the leadership team and everyone else in the organization, having a great accountability chart, setting rocks every single quarter, having a wonderful meeting pulse where everyone is involved in those great meetings, and then having a great scorecard at every level of the organization. You do those five simple things, again, running the business becomes easy.